Okay, welcome back to the final installment of Seven Days to Die Wasteland Training. Seven. Three. I just want to get all the resources that I need. I don't want to have to get them on the way. All the levels I need, all the wood and small stone. The goal today is to make it to the coast and build a dwelling you can live in. This is the final installment of Wasteland Training. Check to make sure I'm recording. Looks good to me. Okay. to a thousand wood here just to have it and get ourselves some wood blocks and get get prepared. Pants. Hat, shirt, shoes. Just to have. 
have some available. And that should be good. something which will be um, pummel P just to have some DPS on the on the I think we're good. Alright, now we make our where we're going. Get rid of the trader. Find our mark and go. All right, and we're off. Welcome to the final installment of Wasteland Training of Seven Days to Die. This is um, a training series that I'm, I'm using to try to get better, and I appreciate your ride along. Any suggestions or comments you may have, I, I welcome. I'd love to hear them. Um, so yeah, so this series is going to be able to help expand um, the techniques that I've learned. Um, try to put those down into practice so when I get into a uh, more casual gameplay style, um, I can make it past uh, where I was. There we go. I'd like to call this slow motion speed running. <laughs> Wow, who's booking it? Let me... I'm not going to stop at the traders. The goal here is to make it to the beach and create a dwelling I can live in by sundown. Is there a piggy? Is that a piggy? Oh, I hear a bird. Let me look. Everything's awfully brown. I can't tell if there's a piggy. That's okay. Nope, doesn't look like it. Somebody should spray paint the piggies like neon pink or something so I can see them. That's a band name, Neon Pink Piggies. What kind of image does that give you? I don't need to keep learning about that. Sandwiches. There. I don't want you. Oh yeah, I like this little spot. Excuse you. I like this little spot. I'm not gonna stop. Keep going. This series has also been a baseline for the technical aspect of this to make sure the video and the audio sound and video uh, looks okay and that when you watch it, uh, moreover, it doesn't make you sick. The screen work and the, the camera work is important. I want to make sure it's fluid and people are watching it casually. That's harder than it seems, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> I 
think I got it pretty good though for what I can do. I'll make it a little bit smoother, but if we get more fluidity, we may lose a little bit of quality, which I think is fine. Uh, we're doing okay as far as quality. You can tell what's going on. And to me, that's really what matters. that. Oh, I'm going to use that. Why didn't I think of that before? This is my get-out-of-jail-free card right there. I don't want to use it to cheat across the map, though, so if I need it, I'll use it. But otherwise, that's just my oh shit card right there. You know, oh shit button. God darn it, there's a lot of mobs around. Oof. I might need that Mega Crush. make that smoother. That doesn't seem very smooth yet. Let me see if I can tweak the video a bit, see if I can make it more smooth. I think I'm dropping down to like 30 frames a second when I'm panning, so let me fix that. Could be a little jarring if you pan and it looks a little, you know. I'm gonna have to prioritize smooth panning. Quality. Because that's, that's pretty intense quality. I mean, look at that. That's, that's pretty good. I just want it to be smooth when I pan. That way you don't think about the game, you think about the game play. Oh man, okay, let me get out of here. Um, oh cool. some dinner. Dinner. Shit. Get a bone knife while I'm at it. I don't know how they're hissing when they're dead, but okay, fine. Let's go ahead and... Now we're going to need three duct tape to make a forge. And I got my cooking pot early, which is nice. Shit. Oh, man, I thought I was going to explode that one. At least I didn't take my foot off the gas this time, so to speak. I saw I saw the, um, the landmine. I realized it was there. I realized I ran over it, and I just kept sprinting as fast as I could. So the damage would be less. That's good. Last time I stopped and said, oh, look, I almost hit a landmine, and then blew up. <laughs> I don't think I died in that one, but it might as well have. <laughs> Goodness. Fuck you. 
I don't even care about the goodies. I just want to make it this time. And that might be the lesson. Might be a lesson, might. If you want to make it, better freaking book it. I don't know. Part of me wants to make the water now, but the other part of me does not. be wrong <laughs> it could be like mm, well it does feel better okay good we'll use it yeah what do you think yeah that that looks good right there i mean that the way it's panning in the background you can tell it's 3d uh, just wish it was like that all the time <sighs> I always feel bad for the dogs. I'm like, oh, what happened? He's a good boy. Okay, uh, what is it? 10.27 and 9.6, okay. And I have to be aware that I'm not paying attention as much to the ground as I should. Matter of fact, I'm not paying attention to the ground at all. I've just sort of kind of relegated myself to just freaking run, man. Just run. Make it simple. Don't don't overthink it. Just run. Make it to the coast. Get your get your dwelling up. Use your training. Get through this. You ever get stuck in the menu when a dog's attacking you? Yeah, that feels better right there. Mm -hmm. 2000 DPI, or wait, uh, sensitivity, with no acceleration. And turn the acceleration off on your Windows mouse too, because that really screws it up. At least for me it does. I don't know why they enable that by default. That's just rude. That's just rude. Fuck you. Ooh, I'm getting some eggs. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's nice and smooth now. It feels good. Now, so long as it, the uh, the recording comes out, you know, half is good. I'll be happy. I'm aiming for a solid B minus for audio and video production. I'm out of here. I had to. Oh my god, this is fun. Look at this. Yeah! Ah! Oh, wait. So you slow down when you jump. Okay. You jump when you're <laughs> on Mega Crush, you'll slow down. This is actually pretty fun. Whee! Hope I didn't just you know screw myself for later when I need it. But damn, look at this. Whoa, <laughs> 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 oh, dude, I almost hit him. <laughs> Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so any action slows you down. Yeah. All right, it's good to know. So if you're running for your life, uh, don't stop is the uh, uh, moral of the story. This thing lasts for 18 more seconds. Holy cow. Yeah. Or is it 18 minutes? Does this thing go for 18 minutes? Or is it five minutes? No, it's five minutes. Wow, that's a long, long buff. Damn. Did I get any Mega Crush from my previous runs? Because this is amazing. Oh, so if you run out of energy, you stop running. Okay, that's cool too. So if you, even if you take a Mega Crush and you get buffed up like this, if you run out of energy, you will pause and walk. 
but only for a second. And then you just take off again. Wow, that's 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 the most amazing speed buff I think I've ever seen. I'm probably gonna die, but hey, oh shit. See that slowed down? The bear's gonna get me. Oh, that was close. I'm gonna jump in the water. Wasp! That's better. I mean, that's better. It's more realistic. <laughs> Little squigglies, whatever they are. Are those god rays coming through the water or the trees? Oh, those are trees, okay. Man, wouldn't that be cool if you had god rays coming through the water with ray tracing and all that? Anyway, one can dream. Get my energy back and bye! Wow. You know, this reminds me of Jetsons. I feel like little, little like, bubbles coming out, like. You know, a little uh, spaceship or something. Me, George Jetson. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's his wife. Judy. Astro. Oh, who remembers Astro? So Astro is probably in competition with like Scooby Doo and what else? What other famous dogs were? Scooby Doo, which was Casey Kasem. What? You know, when I heard that. Ooh, dinner time. Mm. Yeah, dinner time. I know I've got Mega Crush on and I'm farming. You know, that's great. Um. Ah, worth it to me. Wah! <sighs> ah! Wow, they come up at you so fast, you can't hardly see it. It's not the game's fault or the computer's fault, it's just... Whoa! I bet if I ran over a, a landmine, it'd blow up way, way past me stepping on it now of course what would probably happen is i'd run out of energy right before i stepped on it then i'd walk over it hmm well anyway you gotta plan for that stuff damn seven point Woo! there's a bear yes i know you're a bear i get it ah! Chit, 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 chit. Okay. Relax. Whew. I was getting tenser for a second. I'm trying to keep it cool so I don't, you know, lock up. Not the computer, me. <laughs> this is a lot smoother, though. I like this. Yeah, we'll keep it this way. It should look right now with me walking. It should look like you're playing the game. That's how smooth it should be right now. Just just with this view, not panning or anything else. Just walking forward. That tree should look like it's in your monitor with your game and your system. That's my goal. It doesn't have to be super pretty, but it does look like that it's yours. Watch. Was that smooth? That's what I'll gauge it on. If that was smooth, then I'm very happy. I don't need to keep learning about that. Oh. Dude, mega crush for the win. Woo! Did it blow up? Nope. Mm. Wow, I say. Just, just wow. I had no idea mega crush lasted that long and did that much speed buff. buff excuse me. My face does not want to work today. Not for lack of effort. I just said, nope, I'm not working today. You can work yourself.
Oh, no more uh, Mega Crush. Back to being immortal. Uh, Amortal, not Emortal. Immortal? You get it. Diamond Technique? Let's see if he does it. I was demonstrating. Dude, where'd you go? Oh, I see. Now you're ignoring me. All right, fine. Screw it. I'm going to do another and make her crash. That was so much fun. I'm going to look for these in, in, in um, vending machines now. This is, like, too awesome. I mean, I'm still going to die, of course, but, you know, this is pretty awesome. 6.5. This is a long way away. I was doing this really without any sort of speed buffs at all. Goodness me. So we're 1203. And we're 6.4. This feels like a motorcycle or better, doesn't it? I mean, I can't tell, but I'm not third person. But let's watch this tree. Let's see how fast it goes by. Good. Did I feel like a motorcycle? Ow. I almost hit it like a motorcycle. Go to Bill Murray saying Ghostbusters. <laughs> what a lovely singing voice you must have. There is no data. There is only two data. Yes, ma'am. So I would say, yes, ma'am. I'm just here for the bologna, maybe some milk, and see ya. First bologna and milk together, really? Well, bologna sandwich is pretty good with mayonnaise. Okay, so if you put things on bread and eat them together, it's okay. But if you eat them separately, it's gross. What's going on? I'm confused. I think it's if you cut the bread in diagonals that it, it works, right? That, that fixes a lot of problems if you cut the bread in diagonals. More so than if you take the, the crust off. I think cutting it diagonal is, is the magic. It has to be almost perfectly diagonal though. You have to get it lined up right. You have to like, take time with your sandwich. You have to look at it like from the top, make sure that it's all lined up. Take the, the blade across it, make sure it goes nice and diagonal. That fixes most things. Fuck! Ooh, five mechanical parts. How much do I need for a uh, wrench? I forget. Nine? I forget. I don't know. All I know is I. this is a great run because I am I feel like I'm cheating, and that's okay. I'm good. Ah! Ugh. going to switch over to a harder game stage. Um, I think we start at 39. Game stage 39, level 1. And I think by the time we get to the point of well, normally dying, it's like game stage 45, I think. So by the time we get to the beach and get our dwelling up, it should be close to game stage 48, maybe even 50. I don't know. It's my level times something with a something or other with the square root of the circumference of the moon. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's something. I don't need to keep learning about that. I do know the longer I wait, the harder it gets. And that's really all the metric I want. No! Ah, you look at that pause. Get the hell out of my... Ah. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. I'm not stopping. I'm just going. I have no choice. Now I'm dependent on, on Mega Crush. If it stops, I'm dead, I feel like. But that's not true. I have Wasteland Training. I can use my techniques that I've been working on. So quick I went to, I need Mega Crush. This is what I need now. Shit! 
get my freaking energy back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Even the pan back is smooth. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. It's not jarring. It's not making me sick. It's the worst thing, you know. I, I watched one of my videos back yesterday, and I, I was pretty proud of it, and I was ready to put it up. And I was like, alright, let's go through and make our table of contents, and maybe say, say something funny and witty that if you can, you know, you can pull it out of your butt just for fun. Um, have chat do some fun analysis, let the audience think, you know, see what you're saying because your your words don't work. You have to get them translated because, well... Just wrote it right there. Yeah, that was that was cool. That was my first time. I literally just wrote the lyrics, and then that was the first time trying to sing them too. So that was cool. Okay, so now we're what are we? Two point eight. Oh, this is good. I okay. So this is where I'm starting to feel like okay, I I can make it. And I also feel like I cheated a little bit. But to be fair, there were downsides to Mega Crush. The first downside was you can't see what the fuck is coming your way. Uh, the second thing is. No, that's about it. You can't see what's coming your way. No, no. The second thing is when you drop your endurance, you stop running. And you don't go back to a normal run. You just go back to a walk. So say you're going at hyper speed. And I'm sure they thought this out. It's, assume you're going at hyper speed with Mega Crush. And you come across a bear or something right in front of you that you didn't see coming. Well, you'll stop if you run out of energy. And then, well, there you go. You're dead because you didn't consider... At least I wouldn't have at the moment that I need to be aware that I need to have my blocks out and do my diamond, right? My new techniques. I call my diamond technique, diamond block technique. So the dog goes around, right? So if you hit your if you hit your block to the pointy end, the whatever will have to actually path out to here and down to start attacking. And that's like maybe if you were doing uh, psyops or whatever that is, not psyops, um, uh, turn based gaming, that would really help because that's one, two, three, you know. And that's basically the same thing, but it's real time and automated. So I'm kind of using that. And so I, I've dubbed that my uh, diamond technique, where instead of hitting the block flush and jumping on it, I hit it like the pointy part is towards you. That's why I call it diamond. And then the dog has to go around to hit the block. And so you have time to look down, jump, hit another block and go up to safety. And that's kind of the whole idea of it. And then the second idea uh, that I, I showed uh, was to do the, the nerd pole. That's not my word, but that, it's a good one. Uh, and then once you're at the top, I noticed, hey, why don't you just create a little 
outcropping about two or three blocks down if you don't fall trying. Um, that's always a challenge, right? So you put the, you nerd pull, I'll just show you real quick. So you, you, you nerd pull up, say there's a cop over here. And this is not a how-to video, this is just what I learned and I'm gonna show you. It's just me showing you so I can get better at it, that's all it is. And so you say you're way up here, right? And if you jump, you'll get hurt, which I would. So you just kind of put a block here, so the cop's over there, and you jump here, and then you put another block, same thing, right? Like that, and you just boop, like that. And then you can actually do this and this, and then you can have a little place to hide behind. So they can bleh, and puke, and you can be like, no, no, right? And then you can pew, 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 and then you go, and then you go pew, 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 right? Just one little block, and you can come up here, and the birds, can't, the birds are gonna be a bitch regardless, but you can put one above you and that'll really help the birds too so it's kind of a quick little impromptu oh crap i'm gonna die moment but hopefully that's gonna follow through in my training too because that really helped especially when you're talking about a lot of mobs at once out of nowhere as you certainly can't deal with or i i can't deal with so those are the two things that i've learned mainly the third thing that i've learned is just main awareness you have to be in the moment and you're you have to have your, what are they saying, Dukes or Hazard? <laughs> you have to have your ears on. <laughs> uh, mm. And if I had any criticism, the only one that I could think about, which is amazing, if I only have one, is when the birds emote, you can't tell how far away they are. You could, And that's just an alpha state thing. They'll fix that. So for the very fact you can play it, an alpha state is amazing. All right, so we're going to try the diamond block technique. Diamond talk. Oh, he's still on me. He, he might get me. Yep, he might get me. Oh, come on. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it stopped him. There's two of them. So I put two. That's a cool technique. I just learned that. So, all right. So say the dog, two dogs are behind you. Now, if I would have done a flat block, those dogs would have got me. One of them would have jumped on there. Well, if they were behind me, they would have jumped on there. But that way I put in two diamonds. And they got stuck and actually had to figure out how to get around it. And what I've seen is dogs don't automatically jump over things. Like if you're running and you run over a fence, that fence will slow the dog down. So this essentially is a fence. Oh, that's amazing. Because that thing didn't stop them, but that did for a time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so... Oh, I could learn so much stuff just by staying out here, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm done. I need to go back to the casual play. And I need to see if I can progress, because we've done our bit for kin and country here. We've learned enough to move forward at least a little bit. And that's all I want for now. Because um, I'll continue to learn on the, on the job, so to speak. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is training. So this is like the 10th or 12th run of doing this. And so you're looking at 10 or 12 times... Okay, so it's maybe a day and a half of real, you know, if you were at a job day and a half or two of like boot camp but there isn't that much content here for that um anyway it doesn't matter one point nine i like it is that the ocean oh look at that you know what that means that's my lucky rock so i'm not going to mix it up this time Ha! That's my lucky rock right there. So, cops are basically berries with suits that are upright. No, I think bears hit harder. Oh, doggy. I'm running uphill. Probably not the best thing ever. Oh, landmine. Have you ever, like, seen a landmine coming and then jumped over it and then let the bob behind you die by blowing up? I'd like to see that. That'd be fun to see. I'll try it if I can, if I can pull it off. All right, so here's the ocean. And now my, my trick is to find something that's close. So I'm going to go south. I had a nice uh, nook before that I found, but when I went out and got, got wood, I uh, uh, died. <laughs> Just trying to farm wood to get my base going, uh, I died. Hmm. 
At least I made it to the ocean. Hmm. How far am I from the bottom of the map? Come on. Oh, is this an inlet? Let me look. Look at the whole map. I can't look at the whole map. So I went basically, yeah. Oh, shit. He was coming to check me out. He's like, you look tasty. Come here. I was looking at my map the whole time. The bear is walking right towards me. That's funny. It's like, um, you know, you got a bear in front of you. Oh, right, right. You can only pay attention to so many things at a time. And this game proves it. Oh, man. Like, I'm sure Call of Duty is just as engaging and difficult. I'm not putting other stuff down. I never want you or anyone else to believe that I'm trying to put down something else. That's not my thing. I hope you think that's not my thing, because it's not. It's not my thing. I, I like seeing as much as I can from everything that I can. I'm greedy for information and knowledge. Oh, this might be it right here. Ooh. Okay, so the question I have now is, is there anything around, or is it just this? This is the Mega Crush paying off right here. Because I have time to go look. I'm going to pause it for a second and take a look at the map. Okay. The map is on the first... On the first episode of this series. And I'm going to see if I can figure out where I am real quick. See if I need to go anywhere else. Or if this is good. You know, the adventure side of me says, don't look, just go. Okay. There's a lot of inlets. So I went west and then south. So where's the city at? Okay, so the city's not that far south. No, well, that's actually north. You know, this might be one of those where I'm going from house to house but until I can find a city because that's just how it is. The goal is to get to the ocean and build a dwelling you can live in. That's what this is, so I'm going to do that. And so I need wood. 67. Yeah, I'm going to do that. This is where I'm going to do it, right here. Right in, right in that inlet or something. Yeah, that looks good. Um, or should I just keep going and see? Because this is... Let me take five minutes to keep going. I don't think I'm going to stop just yet. This is this is good, but I want I want better. We got a little bit left in this series. I want to I want to find a good spot that I consider to be like yeah I I'd live here if I can you know. It's part of the quality control that I'm talking about. All right, make sure you have good stuff that goes up, not just stuff. Whoa doesn't have to be great. It just has to be good. That's all I want. B, B minus. For now. That's it. Then once I do that, then I'm going to load stuff onto it. I'll get an editor. Right? I'll get people to help me review. I'll get background music. It's all going to be ad-free. It's all going to be based in the spirit of ad-free. Right? Ooh. Ooh. I'm glad I went. Look. My own... Oh, shit. My own little island. Oh, my goodness. My own little island. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is a cool little, you know, finish for training, wasteland training. I'm going to get way up here if I can. 
Oh. <sighs> That's great. I'm probably going to die now because he's down there. But maybe I can just sit down and he'll go away. That's rad. I don't even know where I'm at, but I love it. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, since I'm alive, it's 5, 541. He's chopping down my tree here. I hope, I hope he can... Oh, I broke my leg, and he's going to get me. Uh. Oh, get off of the rock. Jeez. Anyway, that's just poetic. Oh, I found, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm good. I just, I tried my best, but yeah, I found a little island. I feel good. I can go back there and get it anytime. I know where it's at. I'm going to go back there and, and you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to start a real game uh, and I'm going to get out to that island and I'm going to build something. But for now, our training is complete. Oh, I feel so good. This printing training is complete. I, I've done the best that I could to increase at least the base skill set so I can continue through a, um, a casual game, gameplay. So here's the plan. I'm gonna do the casual play first, just a baseline the way I was on insane. See if I can get past game stage 200. Then I'm going to, with that, go back to New York mod. That thing is really fast paced. And I'm gonna see if I can just, you know, take all the lessons I've learned and just blast through that, get, get to max level if I can do it. All right, so once that's done, I can consider the, the vanilla, vanilla-ish, seven days to die pretty much complete then i can think about okay do i create storylines just based on that or do i go off to things like uh, was it um it's called ravenhurst or is it um all these other great monolithic mods that they've made there's a lot of content out now and i want to try and i probably won't be able to but i want to do some of the bigger mods solo um i don't know if it's a good idea <laughs> i don't know if it's possible a lot of those are made for multiplayer, right? You're supposed to have one guy build a base, you know, one guy go out and farm, or lady, or whatever you like, you know. Folks. I should use the word folks. So that's what I want. So I'm going to move forward and do that. I'm going to continue to improve the video quality. I'm going to continue to drop it at the proper times. Um, and that's it. Always add free. Thank you for being here. I've been bit wrecked, and I certainly have wrecked it. <laughs> Thanks for riding along. Bye.